Hey, hey, it's Mr. Right Way, guys. And on today's video, I am going to show you the 15 most expensive Nintendo Wii U fiscal games. Now, if you see these games out, when you game, honey, pick these up now because they're not getting any cheaper. And if you got in your collection, guys, congratulations. You are collecting for a very great underrated console. All right, starting at $55. And this one surprised me because it actually caught up to the GameStop price and is Paper Mario Color Splash. That's right, Paper Mario Color Splash is a great, amazing Paper Mario game. A lot of people missed it because it was on the Wii U. But don't you miss it. If you see it out there, get it. On this game, guys, I suggest you try to find a physical copy. Price is around a brand new physical game. And also, it, this right here is probably the same amount it is on eShop, so you might as well get it physically because this game is going to go up in price. And we know how Paper Mario games are. Once they leave, they just go crazy. Look at the GameCube. Coming in at about $60 is Tokyo Mirage Sessions FE. Now, this is on the Nintendo Switch, but it's still averaging around $60 to $80, especially if you've got the Collector Edition, the Collector's Edition. Is really nice. I have this game here, I haven't opened it. I do have another copy. And this right here, guys, is gonna be, if you can get your hand on this collector's edition, guys, I suggest you do so for the collectors because it is going to go crazy when the Wii U shop closes. Coming in the average of $55 on a Nintendo Wii U is Wii Party U. Now this game is a collection of mini games involving the bubble, involving your custom Wii involving your custom me character guys this is a pretty fun game like i said it was overlooked underrated but it's a great party game a great family game and it's only going to go up in price grab it while you can now one of my favorite fighting games on a nintendo wii u is tekken tag tournament 2 the wii u edition this game guys <laughs> it is so fun especially nintendo modes on here this game right now is about $60. Last year, this game was like $25. This game is steadily rising. And I would actually play, I would actually play $60 again for this game. This game is very, very fun and very good. Along with this game, I suggest you get the Pro Controller for the Nintendo Wii. These right here are probably about $25 to $50, depending on if it's brand new, used, or what. I have the white one. Is I don't see the white one often, but it's so great with this game and a lot of other Nintendo Wii U games. And the charge on this stays, oh, it stays charged forever. Let's go to the next one. Now coming in at $65 is the Steam World Collection. This game right here, guys, is pretty hard to find right now. Online, it's a hit or miss. On eBay, you will see a lot of like international copies you'll see about five to 10 of this game out there. So I don't know if this was a short print run or what, but make sure guys, you get this game too. It's a fun game, it's on all systems, but if you're watching this video, you're more likely a Wii U collector and you need to look out for this game. Make sure you get it. This is considered the last Nintendo Wii U game in America, and it is Shakedown Hawaii. Now I have the uh, limited edition one. The only difference between the limited edition one and this one is this outside case because when you open this, you have a sealed game of the regular copy and a code that just failed. Make sure that you get it. I like this little slip cover. It is just pretty cool because there's not many of these on a Nintendo Wii U. So make sure you try to get that one also. Averaging around 70 bucks to 100, depending on what kind of copy you get. It is Disney's Planes, Fire and Rescue. This game right here, I haven't played it. It is a kid's game, but I noticed something special about Wii U games and also 3DS games. If this company a little bit produces any of the games, just get it because they make short print runs or hard to find games. I noticed that one a lot. We might need a video on these on a little bit, but yeah, guys. Make sure you get this one. It is hard. This one is definitely hard to find. Averaging between $70 and $90. It is Xenoblade Chronicles X. This right here is a sealed copy that I have. I haven't played this game before, guys. I need an extra copy. I'm probably trying to find a used one cheap somewhere before they rise the price up. Before the prices raise even higher somewhere here locally or at a thrift store. I hope I can find it. 
But yeah, Xenoblade Chronicles X. Ooh, it is starting to go up and I don't know why. So if any Xenoblade Chronicles fans are out there, put in the comments, let me know, why do you think this game is going up? The next game, I haven't completed and you'll see why, but it's going from $75 all the way up to $125. And it is The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD. And you remember this box? I got this from Double Jump Games. It was a gift from Cooper. This box was in the soundtrack. I put the game in. I still haven't got the Amiibo, so I'm still looking for the Amiibo. I guess I need to hurry up and try to find a Seal Wolf Amiibo because it may go up. You see right here? That's the Wolf Amiibo. I'm not really in a rush, but if somebody has one for trade, let me know. I definitely want to complete this. But if you see this box or the game, pick it up. All right, another big box game, guys. The regular version of this game goes about 15, but if you have the complete big box, everything with it, it goes between $100 and $125. And it is Super Smash Brothers on the Wii U. You have the controller and the GameCube adapter. This box is beautiful, it is in great. I actually pieced this box together. That's another thing. Try to put games together, like special editions, put them together bit by bit. It's easier and cheaper than getting the whole complete set right off the bat. But if you see a complete set like this somewhere, go ahead and pick it up. But yeah, this bad boy is getting expensive. Now we get into the really expensive games. Averaging between $100 $50 to $175 this turbo super stunt squad this game is bad it is horrible but it's limited quantity and I just noticed this is D3 publisher right here these weird publishers on the Wii U they did make a lot of copies because a lot of third-party developers did not want to work with the Wii U expensive guys try to pick this game up and you see it for cheap now i know people have picked this game up cheaper than what it's going for now so hey it is hope to find this hmm. now this game oh my goodness i cannot believe how high this game is keep going at the beginning of this year this game was a hundred dollars now god gaming wario is averaging around 170 dollars I have it complete. Look good. Googly moogly. This game. <laughs> it's fun. Is it worth 175? That's up to you. But if you're going for a full set, you're definitely going to need this in your collection, guys. So, more power to you if you find this game. Go and get it. All right, down to the final three. And it should be no surprise if you're a Wii U collector you want to find these games so first off averaging 190 to 200 dollars is axiom verge on the wii u by limited run this was the last wii u game for a little while to shake down hawaii took that title but yeah this is a weird title a weird development because limited run just had the it say just forget it just put it out there Axiom Verge on the Wii U is a expensive title, guys. Make sure you try to find that one. The last two should be no surprise. But I think this one will be the most expensive one going down the road later. And it is The Book of Unwritten Tales 2 on the Wii U. This game averages $250. And I've seen ridiculous amounts for a brand new copy. This game, as I said before, it is dumb. I don't like storybook games. It's by the adventure company, but it says a Nordic Games Division. So I guess that's something. But the rumor, and I still have not had word on this, it was only 10,000 copies of this game. I would love an extra copy. I would love an extra copy of this game just to have. Because I know later on, this game is going to go stupid. And speaking of stupid games and stupid prices, but I do like it. It is Devil's Third. Devil's Third has reclaimed its number one spot. This game averaging now three five hundred dollars, which is crazy. Nobody wanted this game, and let that be a lesson, guys. 
as you're going for Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 and even 3DS like I'm going for, the games that people did not buy or didn't play or didn't sell well end up being the most expensive on that console. So if you see that, get it. You see this in a while, get it. Yes, I would. If you saw, guys, if you saw this game out in the wild, you better get this. I'm going to be disappointed if you don't. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is 15 of the most expensive Nintendo Wii U games on the market. I am getting close to a full set, but I want to drop this video for any collectors out there who are on the same journey or who want to get into the Nintendo Wii U collecting. It's not too late, but it's going to be difficult, guys. It's going to be hard on your wallets, but if you use trades, you may can pick up some of these expensive games right here. All right, guys, thank you so much, and always remember to do it the right way. Happy hunting on the Wii U. See you later.